Chechnya here is their sort of last sort of stranglehold, as it were, of footprint and foothold within sort of striking distance of any Russian territories. So we're going to sort of drain assets away from the New World. I know we, some might be sort of gnashing at the bit here, thinking, don't pull these armies out, but we can probably hold, we could always move armies in here to, to defend the Caribbean assets here. Clean, swift operation here. We've also moved in these forces here, which will aim for uh, Azerbaijan. And then we've got these powerful forces here heading for Esfahan. We've got oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, I'll be damned. Well, I will be damned. This is the fight we've been waiting for. This is the fight that we've been waiting for. And we start this war right now, my friends. Right now. But there's a war on two fronts. Let's do this. Greetings and welcome to episode 62 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod Russia campaign. And this, my friends, have left it last time, and at last, my friends, we have finally struck against Persia. Long time enemies, but also long time allies as well. But now we have finally struck against them, and it is really been the council that has pushed hard here for us to take this action. We've had to take this action here as well to really to, to, to remove this possibility here of the Persians moving against us. And indeed, a, a huge surprise was the Mughals actually joined the Persians. Now the Prussians, who we thought might actually jump in and aid the, um, the Persians, didn't in fact do so. In fact, none of the allies of the Persians, except for the Mughals, have joined. So of course, the brethren, as it were. So we are we are going to try and push as fast and as hard as we can here against the Persians to bring this war to conclusions, but it won't be easy, my friends, nor would it may not be as swift as we could possibly think. So because remember, the Persians are able to put huge amounts, the quantity of forces they're able to put into the field is quite substantial, my friends. As you can see here, in this first battle they're already bringing nearly six and a half thousand men now. Granted, they are mostly bowmen and, and some mob here, but they do have some Kobashi who are that sort of professional layer of troops. So we really have to be on our guard here. We mustn't become complacent. That will be our undoing. 
but we've also got to keep a keen eye. Many of the council are also concerned that the Mughals might start sending troops from India, um, from the subcontinent, into the European theatre. A number of the council also want us to move in and also um, put together a strike force to be able to move in again and take Ceylon to build more ships as well. Now I know a number of uh, council members have also asked to be promoted and transferred. Um, as are always my friends, I will always do promotions when we don't have a battle. So when an episode starts with a battle there will not be any promotions because of course I can't do so. Also I don't want to really take up um, that time of the episode with uh, promoting in the middle of it. So I will always promote, but I promise you, those of you who ask to be promoted, I can promise you my friends, next episode you will be promoted. Uh, well, next episode we don't have a fight to start with, I can promise you will be promoted. But as you can see here we have put a huge amount of forces together here. We have spent I would dare say millions, millions of gold coins <coughs> we've put in excess of well over a hundred thousand additional brand new recruits into these front lines, not only here in, in fighting against Persia, but also just in case the Prussians um, started or joined that war. Unbeknownst to us, Venice also for some reason completely out of the blue, completely separate from the Persians and the Mughals also declared war on us. Thankfully we still had a very powerful army group in Greece which we have shifted over to that flank, to the sort of that southern flank there near Venice. We've also moved in two other additional armies who were actually on garrison duty in, in sort of in Yugoslavia. So in, in, in Bosnia and Croatia I believe. So we have combined a very powerful strike force there which will be moving in many of the councils saying just bludgeon your way into Venice there's no you can't really get around you can't we can't sort of chip away at the Venetian forces um, you know a bit by bit and sort of work our way inwards it's it is purely an absolute bloodbath it's just bludgeoning our way in and grinding our way into the center of uh, Vienna itself and capturing the city but it's going to take us a huge amount of fighting to do that because they have a, a massive amount of forces even those forces aren't in good shape it will still be a huge battle but my friends we must focus on what is available and what is in front of us right now and that is this fight here we need to break this sort of this f f sort of rear guard as it were that's defending sort of the outskirts of um, Esfahan which is the capital of Persia if we can capture the capital of Persia what a symbolic gesture that would be it would be absolutely huge the Russian Empire capturing the capital of our enemies within the first week or so would be huge it really really would so we have to be very very carefully we don't overestimate ourselves and underestimate the enemy here the Persians and the Mughals to do so would spell our doom so we must do this absolutely as quickly as possible and as and, and as and you know as brutally as possible in terms of putting down the, the resistance but we also have to be careful we mustn't overstep the mark here we mustn't push so far deep that we leave the rear our rear lines exposed to as you can see here we have two armies here waiting they're quite clearly going to be possibly moving against Baghdad if I'm not too mistaken we've also got another arm sort of a half a strike force here but we are we have got two armies here which will move in and try and sort of clear these areas here but we've also moved in here we've got Tbilisi as well We've also captured Chechnya without a fight, which is excellent to see it really was. But that, mean, that means they've pulled back a number of forces here on the coast here as well, near Azerbaijan. But let's begin here, my friends, the first battle of our quest to vanquish the Persians. Let's take this fight. And as you can see, there, this, this rear guard action by the Persians here to try and hold us up here from take, trying, to, trying to move against the capital. <clears throat> Can we take the capital without a fight? That's another key question. Could we save a huge amount of lives here? Russian lives in just simply in demanding that surrender if they accept we've taken another city from the Persians without a fight but that doesn't mean the Persians won't launch counterattacks but if we are able to take it without fighting for the city it means we are then fully prepared to meet those counterattacks with full armies that are fully replenished and fresh without even have to raise a shot oh my word look at that mountain there if we had that that would I mean that is basically nigh on the most perfect defensive position you'll find anywhere look at that what an absolute joy to see that is my friends so look at the deployment zone fairly fairly substantial the topography here is is quite is more undulating it's very small sort of ridges valleys small valleys you can see here as you run down here as you can see we also have at cut the road which is excellent that's going to stop any supplies munitions troop movements through the area but as you can see we've got this small hamlet here 
just in front of us and also this cliff here which is going to prove hugely problematic here or sort of a small hill as it were but look they've got this sort of step system here which really does break up deployment so we're going to have to either swing our cavalry to the left of it and swing around cutting between the hamlet and sort of the outskirts of the main town and moving up this way and our main army is going to have to advance in this sort of clear zone through this forested area and in between here so these this area here is going to be our main line of advance of course we've got a huge amount of cannon at our disposal as well be careful that we don't stretch it don't, as I said don't become complacent Horacier, oh, look at that Horacier's uh, I think we'll put these gentlemen right here we're going to try and strike the flanks here gentlemen we are going to be looking to move it look at that I mean that is a joy to see there so we've got plenty of cavalry huge amount of cavalry <coughs> which we have to take advantage of I think we might even split these up into two separate groups on the on the sort of the left flank here we'll have one set of Carassia here another one just slightly here to the to the right of that again moving between and using this as sort of a shield not of a shield but it's almost a if the Persians want to move down they're gonna to have to deal with this here themselves so we can move around here and combine here to really strike a hard and fast here we don't have a huge amount of infantry ourselves but it's enough to really put the squeeze on <coughs> the Persians now let's get our guns our fire support uh, gentlemen thank you let's get our fire support well and truly lined up here Quick climb is going to do a huge amount of damage and actually it falls within them. a decent amount of range here. We do have shrapnel shot, which are going to fall very well short there, so we're going to put that onto round shot. But that really is an absolute joy to see. Look at that, sir. I mean, that is fire support par excellence, it really is. We've got uh, General CJ here as well, and I think we'll keep our infantry. As here, we'll try and use the cavalry here to really disrupt their lines. Let's put this regiment. We'll try and tighten up the lines here a little bit. Or stress the lines out, shall I? So we'll have this regiment here. We'll try and use this here as our sort of backstop. So we'll keep in line with this here, but we're not going to put anything past this regiment here. We're going to try and keep the focus, unless, of course, they've switched everything to the left flank or to, to the right flank or their left, our right. What if we can try and keep possibly a regiment back in reserve. Let's just pull all these out here. Of course, try and get that. Let's have, some, let's have a decent amount of center control. We don't want to be, because of course they've got cannon as well, we don't want them to be bunched up too much our, our lines. We might want to we can pull back, we can keep some of these regiments in reserve just in case. We'll have one more regiment here on the right. That's a good defensive line. We'll have this regiment here back here in reserve and also this regiment here on the left in reserve as well. Now we can switch and alter as we go along, remember. I think we are pretty much set up here depending on what the what they're going to do here. Let's end the turn, my friends, and let's see what happens. Now they, oh yes, my goodness me, they have stretched a huge amount here. What have they got on the flanks here? Kobashi. We are definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, my friends, going to be moving against the Kobashi. Oh, look at that, sir. Bowman. Now that was an absolute joy to see. The cavalry already on the move here. We're going to try and we're going to try and move against them. Well, they got they got 24 pounders as well. That's going to prove interesting to say the least.
can we deal with these Zamidari horsemen here before they move? Actually, what we will do is we'll shift these into this, onto this flank here. Quite clear that they're going to. Oh, good grief! That. Which is regiment to this flank. Oh, what a shot, sir. My compliments to the chef. We've got to keep the pressure on these here. Absolutely shattered. What have we got behind us here? We've got Kobashi Musketeers. They're going to be a problem. We've got to keep that fire going on here. Oh, what a well done, sir. Shot my compliments to the chef, sir. them lads hold this flank lads they're gonna break they're gonna oh my goodness me they've absolutely smashed it to pieces here we've got to focus we've got to focus here what we've got here Get into square. This flank here is going to take a. What the blazes is going on here? What the blazes is going on here, sir? Getting absolutely swamped on this flank here. My 
goodness me, the sheer, the sheer, we've been overwhelmed by sheer numbers here. This is unbelievable. The whole flank here is breaking. And that has been the problem, my friends. Look at that. The sheer number they can put into this fight here is quite extraordinary. Oh, good grief. And that's a brand new infantry has come through as well. not going to be an easy war by any means. So well done lads, well done. Come on gentlemen, push them back. Oh my goodness me, don't tell me the whole flank, flank is going to collapse here. Oh my goodness me, we've been absolutely crushed here by the sheer numbers. Oh, for goodness sake, gentlemen, move. The sheer numbers they've got here is staggering. That's what's been our undoing here. best we can here. My word, this has been... Let's fall back. Let's just establish a second line here. Wow, this is not going to be an easy fight. My goodness me. The sheer numbers they've got available here is scary. Got to really put them to the task here. Gentlemen, double time. This is not, and I repeat, not. Turn them back here. Oh, for goodness sake, gentlemen, move. Thank you. Whew. This is why we have to prepare for this war with great haste and also with it, make sure we had a huge amount of reinforcements available because 
As you can see, that one army there has pretty much vanquished us entirely. Yeah, now we're starting to take the turn the tide here. Although this cost us dear. We have to rebuild that army. Gentlemen, you've got to push them back here. Oh, this is not a stroll, gentlemen. This is not a stroll. This is more like it. This is more like it. Now the full power of the Russian Empire comes into its f into its own. Yeah, now they're starting to bank. Now they're starting to break after a huge amount of pressure put on us from them here. We lost a valiant army there, but my word, we have had to show them that we shall not buckle, sir. Just, we have absolutely. Uh, let's not be under any illusions here, my friends. We've had a damn good thrashing here. But I will be damned if we're going to lose any more forces here. We're going to deal with these Prussians once and for all. gentlemen here <clears throat> into some kind of coherent hole here we finally broke it my goodness we look at the death here this have to be look at the number of casualties you have to sustain here to, to break this one Persian army and that's one Persian army destroy this force. <laughs> Excellent, sir. Let's have some proper firing discipline here, please, uh, gentlemen. Thank you. Fall back in reserve. We want to keep as many of these troops as we possibly can in good stead. Now they will fail the full power 
you have the Russian Empire. Watch out for those stakes, lads, watch out for those stakes. They're starting to buckle, sir. Yeah, you run, you curs. We've got them at last, but my word, it cost us dear. Look at that down under that battlefield down there. What a fight that was! What a fight, my friends. That was huge. We lost a, a, a we we lost a massive amount there. We lost one thousand two thousand men there to break that to break that one army. They lost five thousand. Statistics of so the kill, 384 by the Karassiers. Look at the Karassiers, they've done a wonderful job. Let's end the turn. End this fight here. They've fallen back here. My goodness me, that cost us dear. Let's not be under any illusions here. Now let's make sure we've got everything we can here. To see, make sure we can break this garrison. Esfahan is almost, almost under siege here. We, I, I, I would be very surprised if they don't move against us here. We lost a good general there. Can we actually move into Georgia here and take Georgia? That would be a wonderful coup de main. It really would. We've got to watch out that India don't move against us here. So what we are going to do is we're going to move a, f a, a, a force or a, a navy here to block this strait here. What tends to happen is they tend to land here to, to try and hit Istanbul, which really is the heart here of our of our defences here. It's a powerful navy they got there. We mustn't underestimate them here at all. Mind you, we've got to keep our fleets together, otherwise what they're going to do is they're going to hit us pretty hard there. We've got 18,000, we've got, oh, look at that drop there in income, 9,390 here, wow. That has cost us dear in terms of in terms of finances there. We could go to Azerbaijan here, but we've got, these forces will attack Istanbul, uh, Baghdad without a question. That that fell well under well under control here. We this is gonna be the biggest fight, it's right here. That's gonna be the biggest fight of all. We've got these gentlemen here as well, which we're gonna probably move down here. We've gotta watch the Don isn't we don't aren't they don't move around here and take the Don. Or even sweep through these mountains here and head out head out this way. Very, very important that we therefore cut off this retreat here, which we can't do at the moment. Also, we need to move into here, but mind you, Orthodox is going down here. We do have two missionaries in here, which the council did recommend we do. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be moving down as well to join the fight. We're going to move, mind you, these forces, as we as they have proven, will give us a huge amount of problems. Now, can we move against Georgia and it pushes them out? Let's find out. We need an army that's going to be able to cope with the fire support. Oh, look at that there. That's a lot of cavalry here, here as well, but that's a good complement of cavalry. 
We'll pull away from that there. That's just a little bit too much for us. They're quite clearly going to bring all of these in. We need to co we need to coordinate with this army here first. So before we do that, we need to move get Esfahan if we can. If we can take Esfahan and all per all of Persia. I know they can bring these horses up here. Oh dear, we do me. I think we'll retreat from that. Because of course they've got these forces here and this army here, which they can actually move into here now, into Basra. I wouldn't be surprised if Basra isn't hit. My goodness me, we really have absolutely thrown everything we can at this now. All right, let's end the turn, my friends. Let's see what happens here. Here we are moving in these forces, just in case Prussia did take that. But as many of the council said, do not take our eye off the Prussians at all. We have to keep a keen eye on the Prussians. Now we've got Spain on our side still. <coughs> but what Spain will do, we're not sure. It might, might mean that our trade with Spain will actually increase because we're sort of pouring all our sort of exports into one nation, as it were. So they're going to see an increase in our, in our goods. Prussia. Got to be careful here that we don't push ourselves into a three front war, it's going to be pretty brutal. Sweden, which again keeps asking for these territories. Now a number of the council have also been saying perhaps we should maybe look to, to do something about the Swedes here, helping them out here. But Yeah, they're starting to build up. They're starting to build up. Yeah, they're moving a lot of forces into this region now. They're pulling back into the interior of Persia. Yeah, they really are. Go they this is going to be an almighty fight here. In that case, we're going to bring that the dot group. Oh, look at that! You twenty-three thousand. We're going to bring this army group from here, from the Don here. They're quite, they were quite clearly going to move against us here, but yeah, here we go. I dare you. Ah, oh, well, they're hitting Spain as well. That is going to be an incredibly tough fight. No, <clears throat> they're going to try and move into the interior here. Oh, that's it. Now, do we need to take this fight? Now, this looks like the r this this army is not in the best of st best of strength, and now they're attacking us. We only have two artillery pieces here, which is a shame. Let's try and get ourselves properly organised here. We need infantry and cavalry before we need the guns. And same here as well. We've got the f riflemen as well here. We've only got two cannon here. They've got these here, but they've also got to bring in these. But they've also got here a hardest, which is look at that heavy cavalry. What a charge bonus is brutal. But they've got severe. If we can break Esfahan now, this would free up these forces, and we'd be able to tie down Esfahan Persia in the long run. But that that fight in Georgia there is going to be huge. Let's take this fight, my friends. This will be the last sort of a battle of this particular episode. We really have got ourselves into quite the fight here. They're pooling all their forces into one place here, that, that place between Georgia and Chechnya. That's that one mountain range. It's That's going to be a brutal fight. But can we take the capital now? Oh, I 
it's a hot day my friends it is a brutally hot day here and there it is Esfahan, and what we're fighting for we started this war and we aim to end it as well now let's put our cavalry <clears throat> now we this town is going to be a problem but we can actually be useful to us just on sort of on the edge of our deployment zone here. It's not. We don't have a massive deployment zone either. A very very small deployment zone. Although it does stretch sort of into the town here, we can't really use it very well. Let's just let's just bring them together. Thus, now our artillery and our fire support is going to be crucial here. So we're going to fall back as best we can here. We'll let them come on to us. We'll use this to try and break up their, their assault here. But where are they going to come from? Remember, their reinforcements might even come from behind us. Let's get the general. General Ali here. Some of these regiments have already been in a fight here. We've got our regiment, our militia here who have been in a number of fights. Now, let's set ourselves up here. 159th here. <coughs> in the vanguard of the defence. We'll try and keep some back here in reserve. Let's put our cavalry here. I will try and go right heavy if possible. Oh look at that, look at that regiment there. We'll try and move to the edge of the if we can use the move to the edge of the this sort of town here, this village. It's exactly what we're going to do, but I think this is going to impede us a little bit, this town here. We'll try and put one more regiment. Put the hundred and sixtieth in the actual sort of town as it's as it were itself. In case they move along this axis here. We do have a number of reserve regiments here, mainly because of the, sh the scale of this battlefield here is not vast. So that means we can actually, we could actually meet, we can actually put some forces in def in reserve and also to meet them as well out in the field. We'll put three regiments in reserve. One on the left here. We'll put this regiment here on the left in reserve. We have the 21st Colonial Militia on here for the centre. This regiment here for the right flank. And we might even move out here with what we've got here and actually move out and attack them. <coughs> we've got four regiments here, which I think is what we shall use to move out and attack them. We'll actually, let's demarcation line all the way back here. We'll actually out try and outflank them here on this right flank. <coughs> and we've also got cavalry here as well that's going to move out as well. We'll try and keep this as a mailed fist here. Let's end here. Let's do, oh, good grief, right behind us. They are right behind us.
That's it, lads. Get into them. Switch these militia to this left for this right flank here. Switch these gentlemen as well. Oh, come on, gentlemen, how can it be broken already? Do not tell me just walking, gentlemen. I've got to hold them up here. Oh my gosh, we've got elephants in here as well. Break the defences here. Oh goodness me, this is a two-front war, sir. Are they going to spit under their bridge heads now? Absolutely insanity here.
good creep. Oh, this has just been an absolute brutish battle here. to them lads. Yes, they've run. Run you cowards. This has been here. Desert Warriors have been an absolute thorn in our side here. We 
we're going to absolutely bulldoze everything they've got. Oh, ho, 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 ho. What a joy to see. What an absolute joy to see. My goodness, but even this battle has cost us dear. Good grief. We shall leave nothing here for them. Not a thing, sir. <laughs> Look at that loss right there, absolutely staggering. Look at that, moved down in small pocket here from 450 men. Gone. Eliminate every single version, sir. Look at this once again, the battlefield is, look at the fight here in this sort of outcrop here, it was brutal, this is where we tried to hold them up. Karasier really have enabled us to turn the tide of many a battle. Only because we got the heavy cavalry has it really turned the tide of the battle for us. Whom else is there, sir? Yes. Heroic victory, that's more like it. We lost. 2,447 still, but they lost 4,000 statistics. Look at the, look at this Karasi ears. Look at this. Wonderful. Have we broken Esfahan? Oh, oh, oh. We're going to have to bludgeon our way into, into Venice for, for absolute certainty. 
Okay. 14,000. Okay. Now, if you notice, they're going to play raiding here, which I think we'll probably deal with in the next episode. They've also got their... But they've, look, they've moved all their forces into one position here. We're actually going to start moving our forces around here, this peninsula, as it were. And they're quite clearly going to start raiding here, these, these regions here, but that's absolutely fine. We might even intercept here. Take the fight to them. We've got to focus on grinding down this Tbilisi, the Georgia, the battle here for Georgia is going to be the most intense. I think, my friends, we can actually take this here. They got 375. Let's, do, let's take this. Lost 1340. Not too bad there at all. It's S for Han hours. It is, sir. Uh, got this. Let's replenish and repair these. But now we are in. Replenish and repair all of these. Look at these armies here. They've taken an absolute beating here, sir. But S for Hart and his hours. But we have a huge amount still to do here. And they could quite easily still move in and take S for Hart back. They do have the forces which will do that. And they're obviously moving them up here as well to try and. My goodness me, that, that army there. These armies. But it looks like they might be suffering here from attrition. The Mughals have landed almost here as well. Looks like the Mughals are going to start moving forces up here. That this, this army here, we might have to move this army up as well to add some weight and support here. This Baghdad will have to hold its own. We're going to have to move these this force into here. And our next fight is going to be here in Georgia. this hell down here but only just if we move out of there that's going to cause us a problem we do have these forces here which we're going to have to move against but my friends that's going to be a fight for the next episode it really is uh, what if we could probably move out of the Don this force here so we've got to be careful we don't move across and try and take the Don here that is our last strategic hold before Moscow, and there's nothing to defend Moscow at all. There's this army here, but still. We've thrown absolutely everything we can here at this. Persia is now ours. Plus one command, we're besieging. Plus morale. Excellent Mediterranean. What a fight this has been here. What a war this is going to be. Plus one to morale. But my friends, this is where we're going to end this episode here. We've taken Esfahan. Persia is now under Russian control. But as you can see, they're quite clearly going to be moving these forces up here as quickly as possible. We have to take this fight in Georgia here. If we can rid ourselves of the majority of these forces here. And they've still got very powerful forces here. In which case we are going to move these German out of Don. We're going to have to move this army group up here um, and try and move around here and take these gentlemen out because they're going to quite clearly maraud through all of these lands here. I wonder if actually we divert more troops this in this direction here and make this an army group here and just absolutely throw everything we got at here and try and stem this Persian threat here. 
What a fight that's going to be, my friends. But that, my friends, we're going to end this episode. I'd like to thank every single one of you for your wonderful advice and your wonderful support. It really has been absolutely fantastic. It really has, my friends. The only reason we're here where we are now is because of the council and all your advice. We have taken Persia. We have taken Esfahan. They now have two regions remaining, which is Georgia <coughs> and Azerbaijan. And they also still have um, Baluchistan here and Afghanistan. But we are still in for a very, very long fight here because they, they're simply able to reinforce. And the number of troops they had available before the war is going to be telling. But if we can break this redoubt here, and now we're moving this army group as well into the fort, into the fray here as well to really seal this off here. If we can defeat them here in this sort of valley here in Georgia and crush them in here, bring this fight to them, then, my friends, I think we stand a very good chance of clearing sort of this border here, this, this whole region. We're moving an army group as well, behind them as well, try and clear all of this once and for all. And then we can replenish and finally move down, maybe take Azerbaijan as well. But, my friends, we're going to end this episode here. Again, please keep becoming, all your comments coming down below. They've been absolutely wonderful. They really, really have. Without the comments, without your advice and proposals, we would not be where we are now. But I thank all of you for your wonderful support, my friends. Hope you're having a great time, whatever you're doing. But until then, my friends... Bye for now.